Okay, guys, I want to talk a little bit about um, orthopedic testing. Um, if you studied with me uh, for any period of time, you'll realize that I, I, I rely mostly on palpation assessment, movement assessment. Uh, there are times where orthopedic tests are useful, uh, but I notice that when people do the orthopedic test, they do it in a way that it, it will seem unuseful. Oftentimes, I see someone do an orthopedic test, and I wonder... Uh, whether or not them doing the tests will add confusion because the way they do the tests, they're for sure not going to get the information they're looking for and it might actually confuse them into thinking there's something wrong when there's actually not something wrong. So here's what I mean. You know, they'll put the foot down, they might sit on, the, on the, the foot to brace the knee and then they'll grab the back of the leg and now if you'll notice here, there is a lot of water um, in this tissue. So I can compress a lot of tissue back here. It's very spongy. It's the entire calf muscle. It's very springy. So what people will do is they'll grab the knee and then they'll proceed to just kind of pull back. And the problem is that when you pull back, you have to compress all of this tissue so you don't really get a feeling as to how stable that tibia is on that articulating femur. You don't get an idea if it is torn, how much it's torn, how much you can pull forward. So what I learned from a, an orthopedic surgeon colleague of mine a long time ago, watching him do an orthopedic test, if, if it wasn't torn before the test, I'll always joke that it's probably going to be torn after because he's actually going to stress that tissue. So the way that we do this is instead of just randomly grabbing back here, I put my fingers in the eyes of the knee right on those tibial condyles. I compress the the tibia until I feel the bone compressed between my thumbs. With my hands, I come to this back tissue, but I take my time to sink into the back tissue until I feel that I am literally pincer gripping the bone of the tibia. From that position, as opposed to just pulling back, I'm going to quickly pull towards me and then push forward. And by doing that, the client will tell you that the client will actually feel the gapping in the tibia and they will feel a suck back mechanism where the ACL engages and it pulls it back. So you can actually feel the clunking occur. When there is an ACL tear, that feeling of that clunk pretty much goes away because as you pull forward, you just get this endless ability to pull that tibia forward. This is the same for doing an MCL. If I grab an MCL here, I don't just put valgus stress this way and, and hope to, to, to feel laxity in the MCL teach the, my students, grab that tibia, grab the bone of the tibia. Imagine that all the muscles are gone and I'm grabbing that actual tibial bone and I'm not just gonna push valgus, I'm gonna push valgus, pull varus. Relax. The client should actually feel the gapping and then the subsequent closing of that joint. They'll feel a little a clicking on the inside of the knee. So generally, when you're doing orthopedic tests, make sure that you're palpating through connective tissue to get to the actual bone. Once you have a handle on the bone, now you can start to assess how bones move relative to one another.